In this video, I'll be showing you how Sibelius can open MIDI files as a head start to orchestrating or arranging an existing piece of popular music. I'll be doing this by using an example, Red Red Wine by UB40. My aim is to orchestrate a short snippet of this piece for my high school band to be played live for a music trivia evening. This first part will focus on cleaning up the notation from the MIDI file, and the second part will look at orchestrating this for a high school band. I have downloaded the MIDI file to my computer. Many popular songs have free MIDI files available, especially if the songs are not too recent. Drag the MIDI file into Sibelius, or use the Import menu in Sibelius, and you are presented with the Open MIDI File dialog. Most of the time you can keep all of these settings as they are, but if you find rhythms are notating incorrectly, then you may want to experiment with settings in the Notation tab. Otherwise, click OK. Sibelius now presents us with its best effort to notate the MIDI file. At this point, it's a good idea to listen to the whole thing to find the snippets you want. I've done that, and I know that I need the first nine bars or so. These are often the most recognizable parts of a song, which works well for our purposes today. Thanks to Matt Armstrong for this MIDI file. I'll add an empty bar with Control, Shift, and B after bar 9, so that I still have the later material in case I need it, but that it's obvious when I'm playing it that that's where I need to stop working. The rest of the score looks pretty daunting, and certainly no one would want to play this as it is. With odd rests, rhythms and accidentals everywhere, this is going to take some cleaning up. Before I go too much further, I'll save this as a Sibelius file. This is so that I can keep a backup of my work that I do to this file. I'll add original to the file name. First, let's identify the key. I'll use the melody for this. This is clearly in a major key, but there are sharps and flats, which are getting in the way of finding the key signature. I'll work with flats because that's what I'm more comfortable with, but this technique could be used with sharps too. Work your way through the melody and every time you see a sharp, select it and press enter on the keyboard, not on the numpad. That will change the note to its enharmonic equivalent. So G sharp becomes A flat, and so on. Now that they're all natural or flat, I can see that I have B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. D flat major would be a good fit here. So I'll add that key signature at the beginning of the score with K. That makes the melody look a lot better, but it hasn't done much for the other parts. Luckily, Sibelius has a plugin that can help. Select the area that we're working with, then go to the Note Input tab, Plugins, and Simplify Accidentals. Great. The next step is to listen to each stave separately to see what we need to keep. I don't want to clean up notes that I won't even use in my orchestration. We know this is the melody, so it's important. Here's the bass. Also pretty important. And the drum kit. Definitely. But 
but I can already see that those first two hi-hat notes are just accounting for the upbeat. So I'll delete them now so I don't get mixed up later. At this point, it's often useful to go to the Play tab and switch off Live Playback, which changes some playback qualities. With it off, we'll hear exactly what is written and not any extra MIDI information, since that's what our musicians will be doing too. Here are the chords, the skank. Also, really useful information and super important. There's nothing on this top stave for this section, so I'll delete it. Press I for instruments, select the stave, and delete from score. This bottom stave is actually the same chords and rhythm as the chord stave, just an octave lower and a different sound. Since I'm interested in the musical information, not the different sound, I'm going to delete that too. I might just make a note somewhere that these chords can be doubled an octave lower in the orchestration. MIDI files often have many extra staves, and now I only need to work with four. So, let's start with the chords. Those rests are just painful to look at, since I can hear that it's made up of offbeats. The easiest way to fix this is to select the whole area that has that rhythm, and then press 3 on the numpad for quaver. Don't forget to keep saving with Control S. Of course, the shorter note value is still important, but the musical way to write that would be staccato. Star on the numpad. Now for the bass part. Most of it looks okay, except for a couple of odd rests. I can treat those in a similar way. Make it a quaver and staccato. For stylistic purposes, I'm doing the same for each of these octave jumps, but I won't do it there. Now suddenly in bar 7, things fall apart. Sibelius has made two voices for a single voice instrument. That's because it detected crotchets at the bottom, which would have overridden the top notes. The quickest fix for this is to adjust the long notes to the proper length. Then select the whole bar and press 1 down here to force all of the notes to the first voice. Now I can remove that second voice on the Home tab with the Filters and Voice 2. Then simply press Delete. And the same thing here in bar 9. Time for the melody. All is well, until this triplet figure here in bar 5 that anyone would have to take a second look at. The intention is clearly to have the same rhythm as in bar 3. In fact, it's the same notes too, so I'll copy and paste. Select bar 3, control C, select where I want it to go, and control V. Much better. And it's the same rhythm here, but different notes. So I'll just remember B flat, A flat, and G flat. Copy and paste. These two beats here are the upbeat to the next phrase, so I don't need them. The drums are rhythmically clear, 
just not playable as a single stave, so I'll leave them for the next part, the orchestration into band. Remember, we're not changing how anything sounds or feels, just how it looks. Our purpose in orchestrating is to preserve the original as much as possible.